Hi everyone, a warm welcome back. My name is Josephine, if this is your first time joining this program, where I'm sharing 20 minutes of different movement practices that's been shown beneficial inside the prisons here in Sweden as a therapeutic intervention. Tonight's theme to explore is the concept of space and boundaries. First of all, getting in touch with the boundaries of our own body, but also to maybe see if we can create a sense of space from moving the body in different ways. And I also welcome you to notice if this also might affect the emotions and perhaps even the mind. Many of us have been now in a lockdown for maybe a long time and where we are probably maybe in a, an apartment or maybe in your house and maybe this is also kind of giving us this sense of a lack of space and that is of course affecting our mind and the way we're feeling. So the first welcoming tonight is to stand up or keep your chair in the middle of the room. You can do this entire practice and move as much as available um, from the chair, depending on where you are with your body. I will move the chair to the side, but I will have it nearby. Look if you can find somewhere in the room where you can kind of create a center point. So this is the place for where I will explore this area around my body. And almost like we're coming back to a grounding quality when we're coming back to this center line. And from this place, we might explore different ways of moving around. And bringing in some of the qualities from previous two weeks uh, with practices that was designed more for the isolation units in how to discharge high anxiety levels and also stress levels by moving in different ways and also adding some breathing. So feel free here to kind of bend your legs and maybe bring your awareness to the connection between your feet and the floor. And from previous weeks, maybe you can notice your weight towards the ground, relaxing the forehead, the jaw, the shoulders, the belly, down into the knee joints. And tonight, you might add a holding of yourself. So you might kind of give yourself a hug. And this is to create the sense of, okay, this is the boundaries of my body right now in this moment. If this doesn't feel okay for you, you can also have the arms to the sides. And if breathing was an option, perhaps take a few deep breaths here before we move on into different practices. And everything is an invitation. So please honor your body and your, how you are today and where you would like to move and how you would like to move. And please take a rest whenever you need to. So it's, everything is just an invitation. then releasing your arms to the sides and here you can create some heat into your hands. The first boundary to explore tonight is the boundary between the arm and the rest of the room. So here I'm giving some light pressure. If you don't feel like putting some pressure towards your arm, you can also hover the hand above the arm just kind of sense the outline of the arm and the hand. This is my arm right now. Maybe up on the shoulder. And you can give some muscular engagement in that arm and then release. So here you can try to move one shoulder. So the same arm that you just gave some attention to. And here, exploring different ways of moving the shoulder, you might notice that moving the shoulder is affecting the sensations in the rest of the upper body. Mm. 
and then adding the elbow. And can this, by moving the elbow and the shoulder, can that contribute to a felt sense of space somewhere in the body? Move however you like. So I'm just giving some suggestions into areas to move around, but your movement might look very different from mine. And then from this center line, can we expand that arm out? And then here we have like the outer boundary of the range of movement. So this is as far as I can reach. And you can look at your hand so you can see your hand. And then exploring the space then with the arm, almost like you're clearing the area around your body with these different movements. And again, noticing how this is affecting the upper body. Any movement all around your body. Then maybe come back and shake that arm. And in your own time, over to the other side. Touch or no touch. That shoulder. And different ways of moving this shoulder. And maybe adding the elbow. And how does it feel like when you're moving the elbow forward compared to back? Press to up, different directions. Then maybe expanding that arm out and have a look where is the outer boundary of that range of movement from that arm. Then moving it around, maybe following the hand with your eyes. You might even notice how the air is moving around your skin on the arm. If you have a long sleeve, you might want to kind of roll the sleeves up. Perhaps you can notice this. It's like you're moving the air around in this area around the body. And then shaking that arm out, maybe releasing. And then both arms, here you can engage the muscles of the body or of the, of the arms, and then start to roll both shoulders. Exploring different ways of moving the shoulders. Noticing if you're rolling your shoulders forward, where is the increase of a sense of space? Compares to back. I'm adding both elbows. Different ways of moving the elbows around your body, around this kind of center line where we are. And expanding out in both arms. How far can you reach? different directions, the felt sense in the entire body from these movements. Ah, and then returning towards center. You might notice different feelings around your shoulders. Down into your hands, your arms. Back into the sensations of your feet connected to the floor. And then release. Okay, so one leg. And here again, you can put your foot up on a chair if you need to. And you can choose if you 
would like to add this light pressure, just maybe hover the arms or, ha or the hands around the outline of your legs. We're giving some extra attention to one leg. Okay, and then starting to create some movements around this leg where the foot wants to go, how this is affecting the knee joint. You can hold on to a chair here because this is a balance. Then you are creating your own movements. So you can continue mirroring my movements or you can start to feel how would you like to move your foot right now or the leg. As an example, you can step back with one foot. Okay, how is this affecting the area around the hip, maybe the front of the thigh? And then maybe stepping forward with that foot. Can we notice the feeling somewhere differently now in the leg? Maybe a stretch of a muscle, could that be kind of a symbolizing some space into the leg and then returning with both feet and over to the other leg. So the entire outline of the boundaries of this leg. Transferring the weight over to the foot that you just moved, and then going over to this side. Exploring the air around you with this leg. How is this affecting the hip, the knee? Maybe stepping back if you would kind of feel what's going on here on the front side of the hip. Maybe stepping forward, the back side of the leg. Ah, and then coming towards the center. Again, returning towards the center of the room. And the next will be a section to music. So, I will put on some music. Sometimes it can be like an extra layer of focus when we have like a common rhythm to move towards and move together with. If you don't want music today, you can mute your computer. If you would add, like to add that dimension of this movement practice, you can also have an external speaker to hear the rhythm a bit more clearly. So in this practice now, I will kind of indicate different parts of the body to move with. And here we can also take this out as an exploration. So with the elbow, the arm around, the area around this center point where you are in your room to maybe create a sense of space and moving the air around. If we would do this with children, we would have imaginary favorite paint and paint the outer boundaries of this very special moment that we're kind of arriving into by creating this little ritual before we do anything else inside of this special dome that we have created around us. So if you like, you can have that imaginary vision, vision that you're painting your own area around you in your favorite colors. But we will start here and I will put on the music and then we will return here in between movements. And I will just indicate like a suggestion which body part we will start with. Again, feel free to move fast, move slow. You can be on the floor, you can be high up. This is entirely your own exploration into this. Also by pace and rhythm. So this is only an invitation, everything that I'm doing. Hey. 
Maybe exhaling a little bit longer. And if you were moving around pretty energetically, maybe your heartbeat went up a little bit. So now by standing still, perhaps taking a few deep breaths, lowering the pace of our heartbeat, and returning the awareness down into the connection between your feet and the floor. The texture of the floor against your foot. Maybe a sense of kind of rooting your awareness down through the building, through the floor, all the way down to the earth. And I invite you to notice the felt sense of your entire body from the crown of the head all the way down to the floor again. And to finish off this practice today, let's close by sitting down just for a minute or two. And feel free to have your eyes open or closed. And now where we are, but the body is not moving any longer. We're sitting in the middle of all of this kind of movements we created in the air around this center point where we kept returning to. Maybe you can in your mind, in a vision kind of look, see how you've moved around this spot where you're now sitting. Your mind goes through many of the movements that you created. And perhaps notice if this also moved a few things around in the way you're feeling and in the way what you're having in your mind right now compressed to the beginning of the class. Sometimes this is easier to connect with and some days this can be very difficult. So it's only an invitation. And maybe from today and next week, when you're starting to feel like, okay, your body might tense up or you're starting to feel like, oh, I don't have enough space around me, perhaps exploring a few of these movements. You can put on your own favorite music or maybe some small movements if you're sitting and working just to release also maybe some mus muscular tension. So thank you for exploring these practices with me today. Next week will be a chair-based yoga practice with a focus on balance. There will be a few standing poses as well as an option. So the balance in the autonomic nervous system, how to work with that, but also the physical balance of trying to actually balance in different postures. Okay, so thank you so much and I hope to see you again next week.